Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another overview of Amanda Adams Auctions. We'll be talking about the auction coming up on Monday night, July the 1st. And the viewing for that auction will be on Saturday the 29th from 11 till 4. And on Monday the 1st of July from 12 to 6 and the auction will start at 6.30. Uh, well, I'll talk about the, some of the artwork in the uh, auction and one of my favourites is this uh, 1960s Sid Nolan work. There's also a very nice work here, uh, I think it's a 70s uh, work of John Olson. <laughs> well, okay, M Mandy says to talk about the Moorcroft. Let's talk about some of the uh, ceramics in the auction, including the uh, rare pair of Moorcroft uh, honeycomb vases, uh, a rare Carlton Ware Luster rabbit vase in there. There's some French ceramics, Art Deco ceramics in there. A large amount of uh, Lalique in the, in the auction. Uh, some of the earlier pieces too from the 30s. So have a look in that cabinet in there. And there's more glassware and ceramics in this cabinet by Galley and Dorm Nancy. And Worcester pieces of porcelain in the auction as well. But the biggest amount of... Uh, estate there, there are some very fine pieces of Worcester in there. But one particular estate has a huge number of jewellery items. And more importantly than the 1st of July is my birthday, which is 30th of June. Hint, hint. Gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. And all, most of the jewellery in this auction came from one estate, which was uh, East St Kilda via her family from North Baldwin. And we've got a huge selection here in that cabinet, in that cabinet. <coughs> huge number of rings, necklaces. There About is, 150 there is lots. coral. There is lapis lazuli. There are diamonds, there are... You name it. You Sarah. name it, she had it. Uh, from the cheap, but not cheap and nasty, cheap to 18 karat gold, diamonds, etc. It's throughout the auction. View our photographs on our website and, and you'll see it all there. And of course, above, above everything, you've got to come here and have a look. So, as, as you meander through the whole auction room, there are... Oh, lots of stunning pieces everywhere. Lots of locked cabinets everywhere. I don't know where I took this from. Oh, here. A couple of nice um, derby pieces. Oh, let's have a look at these. I love these. Whoops. This is a stunning uh, Liberty lot. Whoops, oops. My hand's not good yet, so you do it. <laughs> this is sterling silver with the original Liberty's box and enamel uh, designed by Archibald Knox. And it's rare that you get the whole uh, box of six teaspoons in the li original Liberty's box. Have a look at that. So that's all original. And there's more uh, sterling silver as well in the other cabinets. We'll move across. I think there's more. Don't forget the jade. There's heaps and heaps of lovely antique uh, oriental jade. There is. But. Follow me over this side, but we'll do it slowly. There's more sterling silver in this cabinet. Victorian and uh, Persian sterling silver, French sterling silver. And there's more in this cabinet as well. There's coins as well. Uh, there's another uh, set that's Liberties as well. That's in the auction. Uh, a rare... Hagenauer Indian bust. Now you all know I collect Hagenauer, but I collect the African uh, uh, type Hagenauer. This is a rare one, American Indian. And there's also uh, a rare Hagenauer rooster in the auction as well. So we'll just put that in. Coins and bank, uh, bank notes as, uh, as normal. Uh, also from an estate, these are really interesting. Uh, a, a large collection of Antique Indian and Chinese uh, garden sculptures. Uh, that's made out of granite. The ones over here are marble. There's two marble. It's all from one estate. There's another couple of ones over in this section here made out of marble as well. Jules. 
Come over here. Don't listen to him. Why? Don't listen to him. He doesn't point out the important facts. I just want to show how wonderful an early table looks with ultra-modern chairs. We want more and more young people to come to auction because it's the ultimate recycling and what a wonderful way to achieve your own look. So this is just one of the things that I'd like to point out. So we've got, we've got that and you can mix it with a retro lamp. You can mix it with a wonderful couch. What a wonderful way to set up your home by coming to auction and getting some really interesting key pieces. You've got to remember, a home is not developed overnight. You can't go into a department store and just buy everything. You need to go to auction and buy a nice piece at a time. That's what I'm here trying to tell everybody, to think about mixing and matching. And for those oldies out there, tell your younger people to come to auction and think about their own personal look and how to achieve it. And the only way to do it really is to go to auction, buy a good quality item. Even if it needs refurbishment, it's still worthwhile buying. You can't buy modern things and expect them to last. Modern things will only last you five years. Other things such as this vintage lamp stand the test of time. Look at that wonderful bookcase. Book Everybody's got a use for a wonderful bookcase with fabulous workmanship. You know what the timber. estimate is on the bookcase? $700 to $900. It was $12,000 about 15, 20 years ago. There's no chipboard in there. There's yeah. no plywood. It's early it's Victorian. It's timber. It's early Victorian mahogany veneer and a, a lovely a bookcase in good condition. You can't go wrong for that price. What else are you going to show us, Mandy? Well, I was going to show everybody the erotica book and the erotica tile, but I think you have to see that for yourself. It takes a little bit of studying to oh, work no, it out. Can't show that. <laughs> and what about all the collection? We've got a big collection from South Australia of antique uh, Chinese there. jade in that cabinet, in the cabinets behind you. Um, this is as close to erotica as I'm willing to show you. Nothing else. But the erotica <laughs> we've got is genuine antique Japanese erotica. You're not taking the book out, are you? Don't take the book out. Oh, can't do that. I won't take the book out, but I'll show you that. No, don't do that. <laughs> I'll take it off. You'll offend people. Only your dreams. Okay. <laughs> so whatever you uh, want to have a look at is in the auction. It's also all photographed on our website. Uh, every item's photographed. The full catalogue will be on our website. When's the auction again, Mandy? First of July. Day after. And how old are you uh, on the 30th of June? 49 again. Good. Okay, so don't forget, the viewing for the auction, Monday uh, is the auction day, Monday the 1st of July. Viewing is 29th of June, 11 to 4. And Monday the 1st of July from 12 to 6. The auction starts at 6.30. See you then. Bye.